Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Create creation tools allows you to record and edit your broadcast, so it sounds great. And they even distribute your broadcast for you, so that it can be heard everywhere: Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. So make sure you download the Anchor app or go to Anchor.fm to get started. Hello, everyone. And here are your FET news for this week. Join host Andrew Fretz every Thursday for Fretz Education Thoughts, where he discuss his own opinions and thoughts about the topics on future educators talk and what's happening around the world. Follow and subscribe to my own podcast, Damien Talks Education, everywhere you stream your podcast at. And make sure you subscribe to the podcast YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. New episodes of Future Edge Cares Talk drops on Thursdays. So follow and subscribe wherever you listen to your favorite podcast at. Follow Future Edge Cares Talk on social media. You can go to facebook.com slash future edge cares talk and like our page. On Instagram at future edge cares talk and on Twitter at Future Ed Talk. So follow our podcast. And follow your host of Future Edge Cares Talk on social media. You can follow me, Damian Anderson, on Instagram at the Damian Anderson and on Twitter at underscore Damian Anderson. You can follow Andrew Fret on Instagram at it's Andrew Fret and on Twitter at Darren underscore Fret. And you can follow KJ Johnson II on Instagram and Twitter at KJ Johnson II. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Future Edge Hairs Talk, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode of our video version episodes that we upload. Also, you can now listen to past episodes of our show on YouTube and on all the podcast platforms that we are located on. Now sit back and relax because a new episode of Future Edge Cares Talk is starting now. Hello everyone. And welcome to Future Educators Talk. I am your co-host, Damian, Damian Anderson. And I'm Andrew Fred. As you can see, our brand, our brand new co-host, if you haven't known by now, uh, Mr. KJ Johnson II is not here with us on today. But don't you worry, he will be back for the next episode. Yes, he will. Um, so, before we dive into this episode, how are you doing um, today, Andrew? How are you feeling? I'm, I'm doing all right. Um, I am, uh, it's Friday. Um, well, I know many people out there are celebrating their Friday, but unfortunately for me, I'm not celebrating my Friday it's because I have to work tomorrow. So, uh, tomorrow will be my Friday uh, because I have Sunday and Monday off. So it's not really my Friday, unfortunately. All right. Um, so that's that's good. Um, well, um, but I'm I'm quite doing okay. I'm just trying to like like I said, I believe in the preseason episodes. Just trying to be keeping myself busy during this time. Mm-hmm. During this global pandemic you just right. really need to be taking care of yourself as possible if that's um because it really is important to take care mm-hmm. of yourself you guys it really is so please do that but without all of that um this episode you guys we have our sec this is our second guest for this season and I am so excited to have this person back on um we had this person 
back on season <laughs> one. Yes. Of the yes, podcast. Yes. 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 Um, yeah. Let me tell you, um, she did an amazing job during our first season. She is actually our very first guest. When we actually started from uh, started Future Each Care Talk, yeah. Uh, so it's it's just amazing. So please welcome back our very own special guest. Please welcome back our special guest, Miss Damaya. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yes, uh, you Anderson. are. Yes, Miss Damaya Anderson. And while we're getting her connected, hello, Damaya. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I am doing well. I am doing well. Thanks for coming back on to um, our podcast, Future Educators Talk. We are so glad to yes. have you back on. No problem. So, um, to give everyone a refresher of who you are and to our new listeners, because I know you because you're my sister, um, why don't you give us a, a, just a little background of who Ms. Demaya Anderson is. Just tell us about yourself, if you don't mind. Gladly. Um, as y'all can tell, my name is Demaya Anderson. I'm currently a freshman at um, college at Dashwood State Community College here in Tricky, Tennessee. Um, I, my, I'm sorry. Um, what I want to do is to become an interior designer, which is something I really love to do. And another thing is I make videos on TikTok, which is really fun. But yeah, that's something about me. All right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Interior designer, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so my first question is, uh, what have you been doing since the first season, uh, since your last interview, your first uh, interview with uh, Future Educators Talk? So wh what have you been doing? all this time? Well, to be honest, I haven't done anything. Just be really just preparing to go to college and be listening to you guys, which is mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. So, well, Thank you. Thank you for um, listening and for listening to us. I really appreciate that. Um, so you said that you wanted to you want to become interior designer so i want to know and to um our listeners as well i want to know what inspired you to want to become an interior designer in the first place um yeah um i really loved watching like home kind of Shows like Probably Brothers, um, Listed or Love It, whatever it's called, and Fixer Upper. And also, there's a app of Probably Brothers that I've been playing recently. And another thing is that I love seeing how they build the house, decorating, making it look delicate and pretty. So, that's something that I really love to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That's good. So do you, um, you said, well, do you be watching those kind of shows, you know, to get a, you know, inspiration of what you want to possibly do in the future? Not gonna lie, I have not yet, but in the meantime, I will just to get a heads up of it and see how, how they make, how to get the house look really nice and how they mm -hmm. build it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So make sure to watch it. Yes, because those those are some good shows that, that you just mentioned. I love those shows right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, so is that one, uh, it, ooh, if I can speak on today, um, 
so is that something that you want to major in, like, soon as you get, uh, once you graduate from community college? Yes, that is something I want to do after college. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, I will make sure to uh, contact you in case I need to build my dream home. Yes, same with me okay. as well. Same with me as well. Okay. Yes. I got um, <laughs> So here's, here's what I want to ask you here. Um, because we had you back on season one to give um, some advice for high school seniors, the 2020 high school seniors, and we appreciate that of you giving us advice for that. So I want to know this advice from you, like any advice or tip, what is your best tip or advice or info for how we can make this world a better place for our children to live in because, you know, schools are reopening back up, you know, and they have to stay at home or possibly go back to the building. And then, you know, quite some don't even have homes. They're, you know, possibly homeless out on the streets. So I want to know, like, what is your advice to parents, to educators and students of how, how can we make this world a better place for them to live in and for them to feel safe? Mm -hmm. Good question, good question. Um, first thing is to believe in yourself because yes. if you don't believe, then you're not going to make it. I'm mm -hmm. sorry you have to say that, but that's the truth. Yeah. And another thing is something I literally say every single day is to be kind to one mm -hmm. another. Be kind yes. to yourself, be kind to other people, and most importantly, be kind to God. Because mm -hmm. you wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Him. So mm -hmm. always remember mm -hmm. that. Be kind to God, be kind to yourself, and be kind to others. Because today in this world is really bad, it's struggling. So just need to know that we need to come together, love one another, and have faith and be kind to one another. Yep, yeah. that's right. That is that is absolutely right. right. And, and of course, during this time right now, you know, you got the pandemic, you got uh, police shootings, mm -hmm. you got ri riots, looting. So you got all those things that's going on right now. And, you know, it, it, it's really important that, you know, we're all in this together. Uh, we it's will wrong. get through this. Yes. And like she said again, be kind each other. Uh, you know, there's no hate in this world. We don't hate each other. Uh, mm. uh, hate is not in, in, in the vocabulary. In our vocabulary, actually, uh, you know, how are you going to say you hate something and you don't know what they've been through? Uh, you don't know, you know, stuff like that. So, it, it, again, I, you know, that good advice right there. Yes, absolutely. Good advice right there. And, and, and I love that, too. And Ellen DeGeneres, she says that in every episode of her talk show, be kind to one another. I just don't, and I believe I did an episode of this on my podcast, Damien Talks Education. Uh, it is not, I don't get it, it is not that hard, you guys, of uh, being kind to each other. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's really not in loving each other, especially during this time, you guys, and this global pandemic, you know, with the Black Lives Matter movement, the protests, mm -hmm. all of this, we all, you guys, mm -hmm. need to come together as Americans. Mm -hmm. And we, we, have to work, we have to work this out. I want some change to happen in this world. I, I really am. Mm -hmm. and, to, and I'm going to be completely honest. I am, I am sad of, of this country right now. I am really sad of how it is right now it is it's horrible it's it's, it's really right. horrible I'm, I'm 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 really sad of, of living in, in in this right now i'm really am um so moving on 
my next question to you, Gamaya, is since, you know, we're all stuck at home right now, I want to know what is, what has been the most important thing that you have learned about yourself since being stuck at home with, with me, of course? Um, yes. Um, one thing that I learned the most about me is to not be afraid. So mm -hmm. I'm going to tell y'all a little story. Um, okay. Okay, um, there's this guy that I like for a while now, but mm -hmm. I'm over him now. Mm -hmm. um, and I was afraid to tell him that I like him because I was too scared, too nervous, afraid of what he was going to say mm -hmm. after I would tell him. Mm -hmm. So I listened to my friend because she gave me some advice of just go for it. That was mm -hmm. the main thing she told me, just go for it. Mm -hmm. So I did. After I texted her, I told my crush that I like him, but mm -hmm. apparently it go the way that I want him. But mm -hmm. we're still friends to this day. So mm -hmm. to tell everyone out just to not be scared, just go for it because you never mm -hmm. know what's, what you're going to expect, what's going to happen. Right, right. Absolutely. Right. That's... I think there's a phrase for that, uh, I believe, shoot your shot, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. So, because, you, again, you never know what might happen. Um, yeah. So, go for it. Exactly. You know, the ball is in your court. All you have to do is just shoot it. And if it falls in, there you go. Now, if it doesn't, rebound it and try again. Or try on a different person or, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And with with me there is what I believe I'll talk about this on the season four premiere of uh, where Andrew, he came up with this idea of starting this podcast with me. And he mm -hmm. texted me saying that, do I want to do this podcast? Uh, and I was like, and back then, you know, I wasn't speaking up as well as I am now. Um, mm -hmm. So, and I was like, uh, I I don't know. I, I don't know. Is it time for me to use my voice now? And to be honest, I'm I'm glad I I'm glad I answered back to him saying yes. I wanted to do this podcast because look at me now. I am growing. I mm -hmm. am. I, I really am, you guys. I am growing. I am speaking more now than I have ever been for the past last couple of years of my school mm -hmm. years, which I never speak up. Um, but um, yeah, you you have to take risk in life. I mean, that's the only way that you can possibly, to me, succeed is to take mm -hmm. risk. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's the truth right there. You have to take risk in life if you want something done, want something to happen, go for it. Don't be like like yes. she says. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Mm hmm. So that's all I have to say here. I'm not trying to preach mm -hmm. on this episode here, but yeah, you, take look, risk. Look, you might as well. You <laughs> might as well. So if you're talking about take risk in your life, look, we can have a, a hour episode on this. So mm -hmm. again, take risk in your life because again, I, I let me, that's, y'all, let me tell you something. Back then, because I, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but first, when I first bought my car, mm -hmm. the trials and the tribulations, I had to save up money, which means I had to work uh, the days that I was off in order to get that car. You know, I got that car, uh, which I no longer have, but... That's just to show you that I had to take risks, that I had to save yeah. money uh, in order to get that car. And let me tell you something, when I got that car back in February, no, back in November of last year, y'all, let me tell you something. I almost cried because I worked hard and saved enough money. That's just to show you the risk that you know i have made 
And here I am now with a, another brand new car, you know, about five months in with a, a little bit brand newer car, mm -hmm. you know, still making car payments and stuff like that. But again, that's just to show you, it, take risk in your life. Yes. You always have to take risk. Yes. I've seen so many TikTok videos where some people had to work two jobs in order to get the dream car of they of of you know of their dream car, yep. and so that's just again that's just another way that they taking risks. Yeah, they may be tired, they may be frustrated, but hey, they want that their dream car. They're gonna go get it. They're gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So you guys listen to that advice right there take risk in life okay just take risk um moving on um since this is an education podcast and you're not um pursuing a career in education which is fine which is fine i'm so proud of what you want to do in life i'm so very excited for your future but i want to know this from you Ms. Maya. if you could do especially now if you could do anything, I mean anything, to change, to improve, whatever, our education systems, our schools, what would you possibly do? Good question. Um, well, as you said, I'm not going to be a teacher or work in education, but one thing that I want is for black female teachers to work there's not really to me there's not literally no black female teachers out teaching anyone mm. so mm. we need we need to raise that population up because i mean not not to get me wrong i love white female teachers i do they're mm -hmm. amazing but mm -hmm. we also need black female teachers because the kids, they, they want to learn from these female black teachers because they, the kids, they may not have a mother figure at home. So it's hard for them. So that's what we need to do. We need to raise, we need to have more female black teachers in the schools. I absolutely agree. I, I absolutely agree. And at my former high school, I believe there was like one or two uh, black male, uh, black female teaching. And it's just shocked to me there how there's only like only one or two. Uh, that's just to show you. And again, that 2% mm -hmm. of 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 you know of black teaching and it's just really sad and frustrating and it that's is. again and that is again why we created this podcast like i'm gonna continue saying this too yes me too it's as true. well and this is the reason why we created this podcast is to raise that two percent to raise to have more um females actually black females, African-American females who be interested in the education system um, yes. so that uh, if they want a change, they can go for it. If they want to be, like you said, Demaya, a mother figure, because again, some of these kids don't have a mother. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really important to have them to come in the classroom and see their teacher as a mother figure. Um, so, I, again, I, I absolutely agree with that as well. Yeah, absolutely, and absolutely. And then also with the black male educators, some mm -hmm. you have, well, maybe many black students mm -hmm. um, who don't have a, far, a farther figure at home. Mm -hmm. So this is like the only opportunity here at school if they see one, if they have one in that building, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh wow, I can look up to you. You guys, we have to mm -hmm. do something. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying this again. There needs to be change happening, you guys. I'm sorry, there needs to be change happening. 
you got to get more black male, black male and female educators in schools. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. It's, uh-huh. It, it's just ridiculous. And yes, that 2%, that 2%, you guys, that is ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That, is, that is absolutely ridiculous there. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. It, it, it frustrates me every time when I, when I have to talk about this because right. it's, it's insane, ridiculous. Mm-hmm. What's the deal? Why can't mm-hmm. we have more black male educators, you guys? Why? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, I don't, I don't, that's really, that's really the, 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 the question right yes. there is why? Um, which we will not get to the answer to, but hopefully one day that answer will be, will be answered. So uh, hopefully, yeah, mm-hmm. hopefully it will. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, absolutely there. Now continue on talking about education. Why do you think education is so important to so many people? And then also to you as well, Gamaya, why do you think that? Um, well, I have a few things of why. Um, first thing is to work hard. That's literally the main thing of why it's important, important to me and for everyone mm-hmm. is to work hard because if you don't work hard, I'm sorry when I just say this, but you're not going to see in your life. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, but that's mm-hmm. just the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me, I work really hard when it comes to education. I do because mm-hmm. I'm not going to just not work hard and then for me to just fail. No, mm-hmm. I'm not a person yeah. who who doesn't want to fail in class mm-hmm. or anywhere in life. So that's why working hard is really important. Mm-hmm. Another thing is to study. Please, please study. Because me, yes, st- study because you're not going to pass your test or your homework, whatever, if you're not going to study because it's just a waste of time if you're not going to study. I mean, Ooh. I just, yeah, just please study. And that's, that's all I have to say. Wow. Yeah. She said study. Yeah. yeah. She said, yeah. you, I don't, she said, you might not have homework on that day, uh-huh. but she said study. Yes. I don't care if you mm-hmm. have, have no homework or no nothing, study. Because yes. you never know, you might have a pop quiz. You don't know, you mm-hmm. might have a surprising test exactly. on the same week. Mm-hmm. Study. Okay. Every day. Every day. Every day. Monday through Friday. At least for at least 30 minutes. Because I remember back in elementary school where we had to study for at least 30 minutes per day. At least 30 minutes per day. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, when, when teachers put study on the board, that doesn't mean no homework. No, that means study. That means look over your notes, mm-hmm. look over mm-hmm. the worksheet, look over of the materials that you have learned in class, and uh-huh. you know study. Because yeah. mm-hmm. again, you never know. You might have a pop quiz. You don't know. You might have a pop test. You never know. So it's really important for you to study. Exactly, exactly. And speaking on studying, I'm just thinking about this right now. Uh, people, when, uh, what's, you know, you guys, what's been happening around the world, the Black Lives Matter protests, mm-hmm. um, and then people are trying to have these, you know, difficult conversations with their friends and families. Um, mm-hmm. You guys, before you start having these conversations about race, racism do your homework Mm. do your homework because i i can't sit down with someone a white friend of mine and they are and they are going to you know have this conversation with me about race okay that's Mm -hmm. fine but if you're going to Mm -hmm. talk to me having this conversation and you don't know what you don't know what you're talking about Please talk to him, Damien. Please go mm-hmm. somewhere. Go somewhere because I don't got time for that. If you don't know your stuff, your information, you didn't do your homework. Get away from me. I I know. Talk to him until talk you do him. your homework. 
then come back mm-hmm. to me and let's have the conversation because I'll be gladly to have it with you mm-hmm. the right way, not mm-hmm. the wrong way. I'm just, I'm putting that out there, you guys. Talk it's, to him, man. It's, Talk it's to the him. truth. Talk to him. It really is. Talk to him. You want to, ha- you want to talk about race, racism, Black Lives Matter, whatever. Before you want to do that, do your homework. Do your homework. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talk to um, him. Kind of getting a little Talk worked up here talking about it. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's true. It's really is true. It's true. The, mm-hmm. Hey, the, the truth hurts. The it truth hurts. Yeah. The truth yeah. hurts. Mm. Another thing is to think before you speak. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Look. Look. Because yeah. oh. if you say something, it's not going to come out right if you're going to say it. So please, before you speak, just think of what you're going to say because mm-hmm. you might hurt someone's feelings. Like, I just don't. And back when I was in high school, some teachers have posters in their classroom saying that think before you speak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because she, mm, mm. Y'all. I'm so glad let, we brought her back on here. Whoa. Let me tell you something. Think Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all. If you don't have something nice to say, don't even say it at all. Just don't, don't keep your say keep your mouth what? shut. Keep keeping your Three. mouth shut. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I don't got time Keep. for that in my circle. I don't. Nope. nope. Mm-hmm. If you don't talk. have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Exactly. Because right? if you say something that is that will hurt somebody's feelings, mm. next you know they will go in a in a in a wrong path, uh-huh. and nobody wants to go down to that wrong path. No. And you know, and now you feel miserable because you don't hurt that per- that people's feelings. Right. So it's really important to not to hurt people's feelings. It's to think before you speak, okay? Because mm-hmm. it- thank you for coming back to yes. this episode, please. Yes. Because I, I think. This this right here, y'all. This tip yes. right here. You guys, think before what, you speak. Yeah. Mm. You guys, what we are talking about, it is absolutely true, you guys. So please jot these down to what we are saying because they are very important. They are true. Ooh. We are speaking Ooh. the truth, you guys. Ooh. Okay. So I'm actually taking notes as we speak. Ooh, okay. I'm taking notes. I'm 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 still I'm still fed up. I'm still thinking about trying to have these conversations, you guys. You, mm-hmm. you have to do your homework. Please do your homework. I mm-hmm. I, I cannot stress this enough. I can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please. It's really important. Mm-hmm. What, what what's another what's another tip? Uh what, what's another tip, Mr. Maya? What's a, what's another tip? that you would like to give out to everyone during this time? Um, just to be yourself. Always, mm-hmm. always be yourself. Because you might have a couple of friends around you and you pretend like you're someone that you're not, which mm. I personally do not like that. Mm-hmm. Being someone that you're not, no. Please like, be yourself. Like oh. that, that'd be the best thing for you and for everyone. Be oh. yourself. Oh my gosh, the Maya fakes. I can't look. Oh my look. gosh, look. I'm telling y'all, I, be yourself, y'all. Okay, don't be like. Don't try to be like one of those celebrities. Okay, no. don't try to be like Nick Jonas or Beyonce or. Mariah Carey, okay? Be yourself, okay? You is a unique person, okay? Oh, Andrew. And, <laughs> look, look, okay? Let me tell you something. I have a great personality, okay? Yeah. I, some people think that I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this out there. Some people think I'm gay, but I'm not gay. It's just 
my personality. And if you don't like my personality, the door is waiting for you. Oh, yeah. The door is, <laughs> the door is waiting for you. So mm-hmm. if you don't like the way how I'm being myself, my genuine self, then there's nothing I can do. No. I mean, you can't change of who I am. Mm-hmm. No. I can't change that. No. There's no program in my body that says, oh, let me change this. No. Okay? No. Mm-hmm. It's how God made us. He made us this unique person. Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. guys stop trying to change us because we're not mm-hmm. going to change for you. We're not going mm-hmm. to do that. We're mm-hmm. not going to do that. So stop right. talking to people and say like, oh, oh, I don't I don't like this on you or okay. I don't like your personality mm-hmm. or I don't like this or okay. that or you should change. You should be someone else. What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I I get this a lot too. Uh, you should change. Uh, you should deepen your voice. Yes. For what? <laughs> For mm-hmm. what? For what? For what reason? To make to make to make you happy. You oh. want me to change my 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 voice uh, to deepen my voice because you, it, you don't it, to like make it? you happy. Exactly. You don't like it? Really? I no. don't. I think to think not. Nope. There's a door over there. You get head on out. It's waiting for you. It, it, mm-hmm. it, it is calling your name. Exactly. It is I, calling your name. I can't. I Like I said, I believe in the pre-season episodes or the season four premiere, I don't got time for all the negativity people in my circle. I don't. No. Nope. I don't got nope. time for that. I need positive energy toward me who will motivate me. People who have motivated yes. me each and every day. Yes. I don't got time yes. for people talking trash on me. Come I on. don't. That is not good for my soul, for my Come energy. On. I don't got time Come for on. that because I am not trying to go back to the place that I was last year in 2019. I am not trying to go back there again. So Come I need on. all the energy, the positivity, the people that love me and that care about me into my circle. That's what Come I need. Come on now. That's just Come me. On now. I don't know about you guys or to everyone Come out there on. in the world, but that is Come me on. right here. Now Come I'm on. preaching Come right on. now, but th- this is this is truth. This is truth, you guys. You need to listen. Listen. Mm-hmm. Listen. Let me tell you. You better listen to this episode. Yeah. You better. Because we will look. Yeah, we told you guys, me and Andrew, that we are going all in this season. We are not holding back. Our gloves are off are this off. season. So if you don't like it, if you don't like what we are saying, goodbye. I'm it, sorry. it was great knowing you. Thank, thanks, I'm sorry. For, thanks for listening from season one until now. But thanks. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, this is real, people. Yes, it this is. This is real. Yes. Okay, this is unscripted. Yes. Okay, this is our reaction. Yes. Okay. No and scripts. No scripts. Mm-hmm. None. Not at I all. Have, and I don't got no paper with me reading off of. No. The only paper that I have right beside me is the notes that I'm taking from this episode. That is the only paper that I have right beside me. So there's no script, there's no nothing, there's no nothing, okay? So if you think that this is script, if you think this is fake, again and again and again, the door is waiting for you. It is calling your name. And let me tell you, we will continue doing this again yes. for an extra four more seasons. Yes. All the way up to season eight. Yes. And let me tell you, if you do not like what we're doing, and and plus, again, look at Damien. There's the door. Oh. The door is waiting for you. There you go. And let me tell you something. The success behind this broadcast is great. Yes, So we is. don't need your negativity trying to shut us down to uh, have negative uh, vibes okay mm. we don't have time for that you better Ooh. check yourself 
before you enter the door. Because once that door is closed, mm -hmm. positive vibes only. Exactly. Now, know you that I'm not preaching right now, okay? Um, I'm not preaching right now. So I'm, I'm just, okay? Yeah. So y'all better be yourself and y'all yeah. better have positive vibes only because again there's the door once that door is open and once that door is closed positive vibes only if you do not like it once that door is closed behind you it cannot be back open next oh, uh, yeah yeah, mm -mm. we told y'all yeah. from season four. We told y'all, y'all. We warned y'all. Mm -hmm. We have warned y'all, and again and again and again. Just like many times, we have told y'all to do the three simple things. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Here we go. But I'm not gonna bring it. I'm not no, gonna no. bring that mm -hmm. up right now. Mm, no, me either. We're not no, uh -uh. because. Today is going to be a great day. So yes. let us continue yes. this this interview. Yes. Let's continue. Yes, let's let's continue on this with this interview mm -hmm. with my sister here. Mm -hmm. um, so my this is my final question I have for you, and maybe some more will pop up in my head. But what has been the biggest surprise? or failures that you have had in the last few months that you'd like to share with us that anything exciting has happened to you in the last few months? Yes, um, well, was something that surprised me was I get to have my senior prom. Oh. I was so, mm. so excited that I finally get to have my senior prom because as y'all know that I got out of school around March 16th mm -hmm. of this year, mm -hmm. and the class of 2020, it was not the best rest of the year for us because it got mm -hmm. ruined. We couldn't have our prom the next month, or our graduation, it was different as any other graduation that we had. Um, we actually had a graduation outside, and we only invited six of our family members so yeah um for the prom um i got this notification in last month in june that it says that seniors can have their prom and once i saw that oh my gosh i was thrilled my mind was blown i was so so excited i could finally have my senior prom which Last year, I had my junior prom, and for this year, it was the best prom I ever had. Even though it wasn't as how it was last year, but I was still excited to have it, get to hang out with my friends, dance with them, just beyond excited. I was just amazed. Wow. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, we both said wow at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you get to have your senior prom. What that? I'm yeah. shocked, actually, uh, yeah, because I was shocked as well. Um, because there are many uh, students out there that didn't to that didn't uh, get to experience uh, senior prom this year. So I'm actually uh, shocked and surprised. So uh, that that's wow. Yeah. Um, so it's great that you had a great time during your senior prom. Um, of course, you got to, of course, you had to go to your senior prom because it's your last year of high school. So of course, if you miss that, your friends will be texting you like where you at because this is your senior prom. Trust me, I've getting that text message before. Mm -hmm. um, so, um. And also, you talked about graduation, how it's been held outside, um, mm -hmm. and that you can only up to six people. So, what mm -hmm. was uh, like? What was it like having that graduation outside and be able to ha only have six family members? 
It was crazy, I have to say. It was beyond crazy that we had to have graduation outside, you know, due to corona. And mm -hmm. for the fact that we had to invite six of our family members, I was, I just, I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. I really couldn't. But um, I invite six people, I invited my mom and my brother because my other family members couldn't be able to come. Mm -hmm. But it was still good. The graduation went well. I just hate the fact that we had to do it outside. Mm -hmm. And plus, it was really hot. Like, it was hot outside. I was sweating. My makeup was uh, all over the place. <laughs> I just, yeah. And then my feet were killing me because we had to walk in the grass. Mm, it was mm, crazy yeah mm. and then plus we have to we social distance uh mm. yeah that was wow. yeah That's, that was it, yeah that, yeah I, that was a lot. I agree it was uh, it, yeah oh 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 that was i can see it now it, ooh, yeah just a, yeah just a yeah. huge huge and plus you uh you probably had other classmates as well or it was just only like you also had other classmates as well during that graduation or you had to come to mm -hmm. a certain time um well we actually had to come at well we all had to come at a certain time you know to get mm -hmm. prepared to mm -hmm. walk in our graduation but like i said it was just crazy i just couldn't believe it yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah, it, yeah. A, a huge a huge mess uh yeah. well uh mm. Yeah, my and some students, you guys around the world, they didn't attend their graduation because some some did it in person, then some had to do it like what we're doing here virtually. And I feel for those, I feel for those 2020 class of 2020 students who had to do it through here, not you know they they wanted to you know experience it, you know, be in that, but you know with lots of people and their mm -hmm. families and, you know, sitting mm -hmm. by their class and right. getting that and walking across that stage to get stage, that diploma, diploma. That, yeah, that they work hard for. I just mm -hmm. feel so sorry for them. I really do. Because it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like that special moment where yeah. you with your classmates, like one last time yes. before y'all go separate into your own little you know world yes. and for the 2020 seniors it's kind of upsetting because they don't get to experience that one last time together mm -hmm. um with their classmates and it, it's kind of sad and you know <laughs> we can all blame Miss Rona for that one. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. because if 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 Rona wasn't around, y'all will be able to watch the stage. Y'all will be able to have that one uh final time, that one final conversation, that special moment with your friends and your classmates, yeah. and have that and have that advice from your former teachers that have been supporting you ever since freshman year. Yeah. Um, so it, it's kind of sad, uh, to be honest. It's kind of sad. Oh, yeah, it really is. It really is. I just, uh, I feel so sorry for them uh, mm -hmm. last couple of months, and I still feel so sorry for them now. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just terrible. It really is. Mm -hmm. Um, so is there, that's all the question I have for you, um, is there anything else that you would like to share with us, to our listeners, what you are currently doing? I, you are a college student, so, um, uh, how do you, um, well, you're now a college student, excuse me, so how do you feel about that, starting the next chapter of your life? I cannot believe that I am now a college student. Just saying that mm -hmm. just melts my heart. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this moment my whole 
life. Just imagine me being a college student, going to college, doing all these things, like join clubs, organizations, just stuff like that. It's just amazing, really is. So, so happy for you. I really am. Start your next chapter of your life. And then once that is over, you transfer to a four-year college. And after that, you're in you got officially. You, you, mm -hmm. Get that bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Hello. And then once you, got, uh, once you get that bachelor's degree, is either A, you get your master's degree, mm -hmm. or yeah. B, you go straight into work, which interior designer. So yeah. you might intern or you might be, you never know. So, um, uh, so yeah, it, it, it's a huge step because uh, it, it's like you're starting the ladder all over again like you did back in elementary school like mm -hmm. you did back in middle school and like you did back in high school except mm -hmm. this time it's really up to you if you want to either proceed and of course i know you want to proceed because i know you said again you want to work hard because you want to su uh, succeed in life um, but, um, but there are so many people out there that drop out of college because they think it's not for them, mm -hmm. um, which I truly believe is that you get your education, um, yeah. so that you can be things that you want, that you want to be. Uh, for instance, for me, I want to be a teacher. So what I need to do is go to a two year and to transfer and then once I get my bachelor's degree, hello, I'm a teacher or future such and such teacher at such and such school. So it's it's really important to get your education, your education, because if you don't, you will fall behind and you will not succeed in life. So oh. it's, it's really important. Yes, and um, I was talking with Demaya right before we um, had this interview that um, <clears throat> that if you want to further your education, good for mm -hmm. you. If you want to get mm -hmm. that degree, go get that degree that you want go and that it. you working hard for. Go get it because mm -hmm. once you get that degree, whatever it is, mm -hmm. no one. And listen to me, you guys. I mean, no one cannot take that away from you, your education, because you work hard for that. You work you for work that degree that you have been working mm -hmm. so hard for, and you finally got it, and then someone comes mm -hmm. along and tells you that you don't deserve this. You don't deserve uh, this at all. Are you uh, kidding me? I deserve mm -hmm. this degree right here. I work my butt all so you cannot All. tell me nothing so nothing. don't let don't let anyone take that away from your education go for your education you want to become a doctor go for your go education. For it. become a teacher go for it become the for next it. president of the united states go for that go degree. for it go Come for on. it and don't Come let on. no one tell you otherwise like i said earlier negativity people get that out of your circle Get that out of your circle because you don't need it. You don't need you don't. it. You don't need it. You don't. You don't need it. Let me tell you, if they trying to bring you down, mm -hmm. dismiss. Yeah. You are dismissed. You are dismissed. Exactly. Look. Oh, I'm going to go for my doctor degree. Oh, no, you, you, you're not going to be a good doctor. <laughs> dismiss. <laughs> go. Go. Dismiss. Because, because oh, I don't got time oh, for that. Oh. Right, I want to be a teacher. Oh, teachers don't get paid enough. Dismiss. Oh, go. <laughs> Where mm. are today? Dismiss. Yeah, go. Okay. I have so we, many people, so many friends tell me, "Oh, teachers don't get paid enough." Okay. I don't care. Yes, yeah, I'm here for the kids. Exactly. I don't care. Teachers don't get paid enough. Do I want? I, I care about the money. No, I don't. What I care about the kids. Exactly. 
So therefore, you are dismissed. No. No. Okay. Oh, I'm sick and tired. People tell me that right there that teachers don't mm. get paid enough. I know that. Don't y'all think I, I know that? I really do. The only thing I care about is the students, the kids, because I love them. I don't care about the money. I really don't. That's why I'm a teacher. That's why I became a teacher. Because exactly. I care about kids because I about care the about them. I care about their future. Come on. Oh my God. Even though we are 49th in the state, I don't care. Yeah. Do you know what I care? No, I don't. Not one bit. What I care about the kids. Exactly. Okay. Waking up each and every morning. Yes. Going to that school, opening yes. up my classroom, saying good morning yes. to my students. And wave them goodbye every time they get on that bus or on that to their uh, car. Yes. That's what teachers on the way care home. about, you guys. That is what they truly care about. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I just don't understand people these days. I really don't. Dismiss. Yeah, We're up the day. Go. Dismiss. Oh, Word. there's the door. Today. There's the door. Go. I don't got time for this. I don't. I don't. Well, uh, <laughs> we oh, can this. go on and on. Yeah, I but know. Let me tell you. I know we can. But, we can. You know, but you know. Yeah, we sooner or later we have to end this. So, which we're going to now. Um, thank you so much. Demaya for coming back on to Future Educators Talk. I am so glad that you agreed to come back on. It, thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. From the bottom of, uh, like, thank you for coming back because yes. I, we wouldn't have these, these, uh, I don't know how you, how, I don't know how you call this because it's not really, we're not preaching or no. anything. Uh, yeah. so, uh, just, just thank you for coming back and, and, and having this conversation with us, uh, cause I, I truly appreciate it. Yes. And, and I really need to hear those. I really did today. I really did. Mm -hmm. So thank you because I was having quite like a bad day, quite like this morning. And now I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. because of this episode right here so thank you thank you Demond. it's friday y'all it is friday this is how you <laughs> brighten up your friday right here yes. by listening to this episode so if you listen mm -hmm. if you listen to this episode on a friday and you feeling down and upset and somebody Mom. got on your nerves today come on listen to this episode mm -hmm. we will brighten your day in a heartbeat let yes. me tell you. And this can be a Monday motivation for you as well to, to get started with the week. So come on. Come on now. Come on, come now. on now. Yes. So where can people, our listeners, and our new listeners follow Miss Demaya Anderson at? Well, um, you can follow me on Instagram at Demaya Anderson One all work case and you can also follow me on tiktok at the my industry one same as instagram <laughs> so you can follow me there all right all right all that's right. that's yeah that's great and i'll be checking out your tiktok videos they are so incredible incredible thank you um so Thank you so much for coming on, Demaya. Thank you so much. We appreciate having you on. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I would love to be back on here soon. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. <laughs> me too. So. Mm. That was, oh my, oh my, look, oh my. How was that incredible <laughs> interview? Oh my gosh. My, oh my, let me, let me, I'm taking notes, y'all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, ooh. wow, ooh. wow, wow, wow. Ooh. ooh. You guys, ooh. you guys. You Believe in yourself. Yes. Take your shot. Take risks in your life. Mm -hmm. Be kind each other. Mm -hmm. Think before you speak. Be yourself. 
further your education, work hard. Come on now. To success in life, study. Yep. Uh, go for it yep. and dismiss is your word of the day. Yes. Ooh, a lot to process in, you guys. A whole lot. A whole lot. Let me tell you. I really am feeling great. I'm just feeling fantastic right now. I just, woo, that just, that just brought my spirit up. It really did. Ooh, oh, man. Ooh. I don't feel like pre. Oh man! No! Mm, no! Mm, 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 no! 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's 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 hanging right there. It's hanging. It's so hanging. Let me let me tell you no. something. I this interview with Demaya Anderson is just so great and so inspirational. Yeah. Let me tell you, I don't. Y'all better listen to this episode. Please. Whatever you listen to yes. broadcast and make sure you watch this on YouTube. Yes. Um, because I, I'm like I'm like like KJ is missing it. He yes. is truly missing it. Yes. Um, I, I said I was not going to preach, but mm -hmm. let me tell you something: if you don't shoot your shot, you never know what's going to happen. Right. Be yourself. Yes. Don't let nobody turn you down. Yeah. Because. If somebody tells you do something that you don't like, you yeah. better let them dismiss out through the door. Because if you keep letting them in, let me tell you, you will go down into the river. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you better dismiss them out of your social circle. Okay? And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and you better leave them out the door. Because once that door is open, open and you let them out it will be closed and they cannot be in okay mm -hmm. let me tell you something okay oh my oh my mm -hmm. oh my oh my oh my um great interview yes I, like I, i'm i'm I, i'm a yeah, let's yeah, let's hurry up and end this episode right here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this right here. So is there um any announcements that we would like to make here to share? Um any announcements. I do not have any announcements at this time. Oh, man, I feel like I'm at church already saying announcements. No, I do not have any announcements at this time. Um I am currently i am trying to get um miss hopkins on board for this okay. season okay. hopefully um i'm trying i've also tried to get mr hackey my former teacher as well okay. onto this podcast as well and stay tuned next week for actually yeah stay tuned for next week for another brand new episode of future engineers talk where we will interview mr our good friend from season two, our good friend, Mr. Luther. Uh, yeah, 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 better, yeah, better yes. tune in for that one. Let yeah, me we, tell you. we love having him on. We really do. Oh, it's, man. Th that's going to be a great episode. Oh, that's going to be a great episode. Oh, man. Um, so uh, that is all. That's all the announcements I have at this time at Future Educators Talk. Yes. Um, I don't have any announcements either. So, um, but if we do, you guys make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms, on Facebook, um, type in the search box, uh, Future Educators Talk and like our page, on Instagram mm -hmm. at Future Educators Talk. 
and on Twitter at Future Ed Talk, you guys. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Future mm-hmm. Educators Talk, and yes. hit the notification bell so make you never sure miss you future. Do that. So you never make miss sure future you, episodes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Make sure you do that. Scroll yeah. Again. Yeah. Um. Great, great episode. A great, great interview. episode. Yes. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, make sure again you subscribe, comment, share this episode. You leave a review of our show and tell your friends about our show as well. Please do. Yes. Uh, please do. Please so um, we will see you guys next time on a new episode mm. of Future Edge Cares Talk. So take care. Take care, care. of yourself, you guys. What's going on, everybody? It's KJ here, letting you know that if you have any questions or concerns about Future Educators Talk, stories to share, feedback to make our podcast better, reactions to the topics that we discuss, jokes to tell, or you would like someone for the co-host to interview, please let us know by direct messaging us on Instagram at Future Educators Talk, emailing us at futureeducatorstalk at gmail.com, or sending in a voice message to us by going to anchor.fm slash future ed talk. Click on the message tab to where you can record your question to us. Once again, we thank you for listening. Thank you for your continued support. And we cannot wait for you to tune in for season four. Don't just listen to future edge carriers talk on your smartphone. Continue the conversation online. Like us on Facebook. Be a part of our conversation by telling us what you think of our episodes. Join us on Instagram for behind the scenes content. Follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with what's happening on our podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss future episodes. And beyond, it's you who keeps future edge cares talk going. So like, comment, share, subscribe, review, and connect everywhere with us, you get social. So let's listen together.